Hi, this is Sanil Bhartia, and we are here at Voice Summit in New Jersey. And today we have with us Jay DeWalt, CEO of Aria NLG. So first of all, welcome to the show. Thank you. How are you doing today? I'm fantastic. It's really a great experience here. Some really leading opportunities that are going to change the world in the future We're around voice. So let's talk about the company first. What is Aria NLG all about? Uh, Aria NLG. We are focused on what's referred to as natural language generation. That's one layer in the overall conversational stack. We leverage many of the technologies that are here. What NLG is actually generating human language from underlying data. We apply advanced analytics and advanced computational linguistics and dynamically generate language. We might push that language to a narrative in written form or in speech form, out to a text-to-speech application. If you look at natural language, um, as a journalist, I have been using Dragon software and everything for uh, transcription or text-to-speech. But things have changed a lot these days. Because now, we are actually ask, interacting with machines, and we are not just sending keywords. We are asking very complicated questions. So can you talk about the evolution of natural language with the evolution of all the in market? That's a great question. Because there's what, what I would refer to as the natural language technologies. You, you referenced Dragon. That, that was actually one of the pioneers in the natural language technologies. And, and they started out very focused on speech to text, aug augmented speech recognition, and, and really the conversion of human speech into a data text format. Then along came other technologies like natural language understanding, NLU technologies. They were first used in, by governments to really understand meanings of words because I might say something to mean the same thing, but I might say it many different ways. So the first layer of technologies is really around the speech to text, then understanding the meaning of that text. Then there's a lot of technologies around what's called natural language processing to really process that text now that it's in a computer format to process that text and understand intents, intents and emotions around, am I saying the words angry or happy and the intents of the meaning of those words. Then we process that. Then we need to create the new words, the language. That's where NLG comes into play. We generate the language dynamically. Then we push that out to an output to a presentation layer. Maybe the presentation layer is written narrative or maybe the presentation layer is out to a text-to-speech layer to convert back to, length, to, to audio. And we might insert another layer in between there called SSML to do speech synthesis markup to add emotion or add other tags like, hmm, we humans don't speak perfectly because we can't filter it through a grammar check and we pause, and, and so we use SML tagging to make it more human sounding, less robotic. But the layer we're focused on as Area NLG is the natural language generation layer. Mm -hmm. Because that's how we communicate as humans. We converse. And to be able to converse, we rely on many underlying things we learned in grammar school things we apply mathematically in our brain, especially if we're gonna talk about numbers or talk about meaningful information. How do we determine what's meaningful? We, we instantaneously do math in our brain without thinking about it. When we talk about, if we see three numbers, which numbers do we talk about? We instantaneously talk about either the biggest or the smallest. Right. So those are the, some of the advanced analytics and we apply advanced analytics and we apply computational linguistics to actually dynamically generate the language from the underlying data. Our whole, whole approach is that we've developed a tool called Studio because we believe to get adopted and we, we believe NLG is kind of the last mile. If you walk around here at Voice Conference, you'll see a lot of focus on consumer command response turn on the lights, 
command response, the lights come on. Not a true interaction with the data. And particularly we're focused in businesses, business applications, where we would like to be able to converse with the data. Maybe a, a, a sales leader is driving to work and wants to get an update on their sales data from the night before from APAC region. And they could ask Alexa, Alexa, tell me about my sales last night in Australia. And with our technology, we would look at the underlying data, go out, actually go query underlying data from a BI, business intelligence data, and literally generate the language, the human language, and provide insights to that data in natural language. And, and it's dynamically generated. That, that, that's a key here. So, so there are- Not pre-canned. Right, right. But there are a couple of layers here, you know. Uh, first of all, is technology layer. And second is that uh, when you learn, you know, about, as you said, people make mistakes when they speak, you know, they are not grammatically. layer. So how do you tackle that part? Before, so are you using some kind of machine learning, AI, or how does that work? Well, it's all AI. Mm -hmm. And we, use, we leverage many different technologies. I, 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 I briefly mentioned our approach is we, we want to democratize this, make it available to developers to build their applications using the, the rest of the stack. I, I, I kind of went through the stack from speech to text all the way down to synthesizing the speech from the text. But there's a layer in between that's not currently leveraged in most of these applications, and that's the NLG layer. And we, we are, we've developed a tool, and we developed that tool so that developers, we have an open API, we have an input API where you pass the data to it, and we have an output API where we generate to the presentation layer to a RESTful API. In between is a tool where we've developed a, what we call ARIA text language, and a tool to really create the projects that are gonna generate the custom narrative for that application. So it empowers companies and developers to build their own custom narratives, custom language generation. And so our, our whole goal is to enable the developer community to be able to do that and apply this technology. And it's part of a, it's a layer in an overall stack, but it makes the overall stack better, more human. Mm -hmm. When you say developer, what, what kind of developers are you targeting? So we, we, we target the whole range of developers. Our, our goal is to make the tool simple and easy to use. We have some, what we call creators, studio project creators, who are business analysts who are very adept at Excel and can write Excel macros so they can create applications with NLG all the way to very, very sophisticated applications that require extensive programming capability where you might write pretty sophisticated scripts in our ATL language, as well as write external mm -hmm. in Python or Java external mm -hmm. applications mm -hmm. that you're gonna call. Yes. And, and then there's lots of integration around pre-processing the data that you're gonna pass to Studio, and then we perform the analytics on how to generate and linguistics and then where we're gonna present the narrative right. to, where we're gonna push it, what stack are we gonna push it to? Right. The, the language, just to a set of written reports, to a PDF, to a Word document, or to speech synthesis layer. Right. And, and what are the industry verticals you are, like you mentioned about sales, you know? So what are the industry verticals you're targeting? I think in today's world, almost everybody, <laughs> you cannot, you know, but who is your target audience there? So we, we have an expression that we use all the time, and it's called NLG everywhere, because someday NLG will be in every conversational application. Right. But where is it today? We're seeing a lot of pull from the financial services sector. We're seeing a lot of pull from the pharmaceutical sector. We're seeing a lot of pull from CPG sectors. Mm -hmm. We're seeing a lot of pull in, in the horizontal applications of generating insights around the underlying data in FP&A type applications, in operational applications, in, in rolling up consumer data in a CPG organization to provide the insights of what products are selling most, why, the insights, and, and all about really the underlying insights 
from the data and generating it in near real time. Because humans, we could process that data, but you know, we have some financial service applications where they currently took right. 30 days to analyze the data and we can literally process that data, generate the insights in human language right. in milliseconds. Yeah, exactly. Before we wrap this up, any closing thought that you have that you want to share with our viewers? Yeah, I'd encourage you as developers, I know this is a predominantly developer community, take a look at Area NLG. We have a trial, free trial version that you could go in and look at our tool set and our APIs and how it might fit into some of the applications you're working on. Awesome, Jay. Thank you. It was nice talking to you, and I look forward to talking to you again. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you. Thank you so much.